Hello. How's it going? Uh, we're live. We're live. Auto Club Speedway. So, hello everybody. This is the X87, and welcome back to the X87 World Tour. Uh, we are at Auto Club Speedway Competition Road Course with the Aston Martin DB something. I, I don't know what the name of the car is. I'm very sorry. I apologize for that. I should have done my research, but... Uh, nonetheless, here we are in the Aston Martin. It's the only Aston Martin. It's a GT1 car. And we're going to be doing uh, 87 laps on the Auto Club Speedway Competition Road Course. So we're going to go and do this really long pace lap and tell you what's going on. So, um, yeah, it's it's honestly, it's been a couple of months. Um, I've been busy with the Integrity Racing League. Uh, now that that's wrapped up, you know, I've kind of gotten back into the nitty-gritty of this. Uh, it's kind of been like a, just a project on the side for now. But uh, I've really been working on getting some of the spreadsheets and behind-the-scenes things uh, updated and up-to-date with what we need to uh, basically take a big crack at this and get some of these vid videos going out. Um, you know, I've been practicing this one because I, I had it practiced and then I kind of took a break from it. But uh, I've been practicing it again, and I think we're ready to go for this. And I can't wait. I think this is going to be a very fun one. It's going to be a very long one for sure. But I think it's going to be a ton of fun, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, we got the new update on the builds. We got the, the V7 tires on all the cars. I think it's all the cars. I'll have to double check on that one. But, um, I mean, so far the, the car is driving uh, really good. Um, on this track and you know it's it's not a very it, it's not a very difficult track to learn and it's honestly it's kind of a fun track to just turn laps on uh, I don't see this being a very good track to actually race on uh, at least with this car uh, but I might be wrong I don't know it's it's been uh, it's been fun learning this track and the other uh, road courses at Auto Club Speedway um, and we got the oval done um, I've got that video recorded and it's ready to upload probably see that um, sometime in early December and yeah uh, I'm really excited about that uh, like I said we got content rolling I'm working on getting a content schedule together so we can get working on some things but uh, without further ado wait for it wait for it green flag is out and we are rolling for event 33 on the x87 world tour um, if you are just joining us and unsure what the X87 World Tour is, it is my attempt to run 87 laps on every track configuration that iRacing has available. Um, I, it has been a year and I have only been able to do 32 of these so far. Uh, and I am kind of ashamed of that. Um, I really thought I would be cranking these out a lot faster. So uh, my goal for next year is to really uh, get cranking on these and get them out there. Um, pretty much as fast as I'm doing them, um, because it's, it's been, it's, it's been like a fun passion project of mine, and having not had the time to actually work on some of these longer challenges, and just the challenges in general, has been a little on the frustrating side for me, um, just because it's a, uh, project that, you know, I've really put a lot of, uh, thought process into, and a lot of effort, uh, behind the scenes to make... Um, the schedules and the planning and everything required to pull this off in reality but uh, the problem is iRacing is adding more content <laughs> faster than I can actually complete the content so my goal is definitely to put together a schedule that works for me so I can get these out to you guys and uh, the biggest problem is some of these really long ones are, are just kind of a hard to get the time together to you know practice and work on these um, you know I'm hoping that with the uh, racing off season uh, we'll have more time to actually work on these and uh, get these out to you guys um, as fast as we possibly can but uh, we're still working on them it's fun and you know there, there really isn't a day that goes by where I don't think about like what the next event is on the schedule even though it's like months in between working on these videos I'm like I'm thinking about this every day because it's like it is my passion project and it, it, at the end of the day it comes down to just needing to do it and stop talking about it like I need to just 
sit down and do it. But I I haven't uh, been staying on top of the the spreadsheets I had for keeping track of uh, what tracks are available. Um, the cars even we've had some new cars and updated cars and things like that so I'm really been going through those uh, I'm trying to make sure we got everything covered make sure there's no like tracks that need to be shoehorned into the schedule or anything like that just to make sure we've got everything covered so that when I'm finally done with this project every track configuration will have 87 laps completed on it by me in some form or the other um, you know, the AI build just launched, so I'm really looking forward to implementing some AI races down the road uh, with the World Tour. I think that's going to add another level of dynamic um, challenge. Uh, I don't want every race to be an AI race, because if every race is an AI race, then it's not... Eh, it's, it's just not as fun. That makes sense. Um... Yeah, so we're working on some things. Uh, like I said, I, I am planning to get some friends in with a couple of races uh, when available. Um, if they are available, yeah, and, and do some like uh, duo challenges, some team up challenges. Um, also, the majority of the content will be uh, live stream, uh, solo time trial runs, and that's okay too. Um, some of these are kind of relaxing and fun. Like, this one's kind of just like a relaxing challenge. It's going to take a while. But it's it's kind of fun. I don't know. It's, I really like it. But uh, th this one's definitely going to be a, uh, a uh, very uh, edited challenge for sure. That goes up on the YouTube channel. Uh, speaking of which, if you are watching live on Twitch, uh, feel free to give the channel a follow to be notified when these challenges go up and if you're watching on YouTube right now hello how are you doing make sure you uh, uh, subscribe really appreciate that it makes me happy uh, we're closing in on 87 subscribers on the YouTube channel and uh, that's really exciting uh, I, I really want to try to do something fun for 87 subscribers but I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet um, but yeah, we're up, we're up to 85 right now. We're closing in on that 87 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, support the dream. So right now we're on lap four. Um, yeah, these are gonna take a really long time <laughs> to do these laps. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna just sit down and just kind of crank some of these laps off. If I come up with anything interesting to say, I will be back. Um, obviously, we're watching on Twitch. I am here all the time, 24-7, at least while I'm doing these challenges. Not 24-7, but while I'm doing the challenge, I am always going to be here if you have questions. Uh, if you have YouTube, leave the comments below. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. But hey, it's the X87 World Tour, and we are back on track and having a blast. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And anyways, we'll see you in just a moment. All right, hey guys. So we're a dozen laps in right now. Um, 21, 22 minutes in the session. Probably about 15 on track right now. Um, we're making uh, some pretty good time. The lap times are pretty consistent in that 135 to 136 mark. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a new feature. I've never seen this before. But they added an incident count um, to the F1 page. So you'll actually be able to see how many incidents I get um, in terms of like off tracks and things. Um, you know, speaking of incidents, um, in case you're not aware of the rules of the X87 World Tour, um, on road courses, I am allowed a three strike rule when it comes to uh, loss of control two X's. Um, off tracks uh, don't really, there's no penalty for off tracks. The goal is to obviously try not to get off tracks, but you know, if an off track happens, it's okay. But what we're really looking for is those um, loss of control two X's. Those are a disqualification, and that means I have to start over, even if it's on lap 86, I spin out three times, 
that is it. It is over, and I have to start from lap one again. Um, any 2x for contact um, is an immediate disqualification. Uh, there's really no reason to be hitting tire barriers or walls or anything like that, and this is just for road courses and ovals. Um, rally cross events, um, I'm not really, I don't really have a penalty system in place for uh, rally cross and dirt road events. Um, those are kind of just uh, fun events. We just, we do them and we have fun. Um, ovals, if I get a 2x spin out or actually any incident points on an oval, um, is an immediate disqualification. So ovals have to be 0x for 87 laps. Uh, road courses, I'm allowed two spins and no penalties on off tracks. So I feel like it's a fair system just because I don't road course that much. Um, but I have noticed I haven't even really needed to use the, the penalty system outside of the first handful of challenges that I was getting used to. Um, I'm pretty much... I've really improved as a driver since I started doing these world tour challenges and i'm definitely thinking about uh once i pass uh challenge 50 i think pa any challenge past the 50th challenge um let's go uh zero x let's go zero x uh obviously off tracks whatever but um any time any spins or lost control or anything that is a disqualification we're gonna start doing that from challenge 50 onward um, the only incident points allowed are off tracks, and the goal is to not get those, but sometimes you just can't help it. Uh, you cut a corner too sharp, I'm not going to fail just because I cut a corner a little too sharp. I don't know, it just seems silly to me. But obviously the goal is to not get those incident points. So um, it, It's just the incident system I came up with, I found it uh, fair. And it also uh, gives me more incentive to actually practice when I do these. Because it, it's one thing to go up and just go, oh, I'm just going to do 87 laps and then, you know, wreck the car and keep going. But, you know, the goal is to run these 87 laps as if it's a race. You know, not like a, like a win the race, but finish the race. You know, finish the 87 laps, get there at the end, and don't damage the car. And that's it's working great for me. Um, I'm running my actual races with that same philosophy, and that's turned out really well and I'm applying it to these challenges and that's working out great as well so I'm a, I'm a much uh, more consistent driver than I was when I started this tour and I think this tour is definitely a factor in that just doing long endurance challenges without uh, losing control of the car and it's really helped and I'm happy for that so I'm gonna run over some cones real quick but we're just having a blast, um, checking the fuel mileage. Um, so we got about 19 laps of fuel. Um, obviously that's going to go down as we're running. We're on lap 15 now. So I'm assuming around 33 or so is when we're going to have to come in for fuel. Uh, which is going to make this a two-stop uh, challenge. Which is interesting because we haven't had a two-stop challenge since I think Daytona. I think everything else has been one stop. We haven't had any long enough for a two-stopper yet so uh, that's uh, pretty exciting. I'm actually kind of excited for a two-stop challenge. Uh, you know a lot of the oval challenges you, those are just one stoppers if you even have to pit at all um, and as some of the big NASCAR tracks you do have to pit for those but a lot of the short track challenges and the dirt tracks you don't have to pit at all so it's just you know run the laps out but uh, I'm pretty excited for a two stopper as we're kind of getting back into the flow of the x87 world tour I think the two stopper is going to be exciting and it's also going to give me a chance to uh, you know kind of just relax a little bit because this is going to be a very very long challenge um, I ran the numbers and we're looking at about two hours and 20 or 30 minutes 
uh, to do this one, so definitely going to be on the longer side for sure. Uh, probably one of the longer ones we've done. Um, probably not as long as Sebring. I think that one was around three hours. Um, Daytona was about three hours as well, so, you know, the road course, so. Yeah, we're having fun. Uh, we're on lap 16 right now, so we got about 61 laps to go. So really excited about that, and we'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. Thank you for watching. Yikes. Yikes, that was close. All right, we'll see you soon. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are officially a quarter of the way through uh, this challenge. We just completed lap 22, we're on lap 23. So we are a quarter of the way done. And uh, we just ran our fastest lap yet, which is really exciting at a 134,859. Um, yeah, this is still, this is just honestly, it's, it's kind of a very relaxing racetrack because there's not a, like a whole lot of actions uh, per turn there's a lot of just long straights and then some turns so there's a lot of just like relax take a deep breath uh, moments along this racetrack so even though I've been doing this for a while I don't feel like uh, very tired at all uh, doing this and uh, one thing that's really interesting compared to um, some of the other Rova layouts we've done so far on the tour um, there isn't a lot of on the oval activity with this one. Uh, this one is very similar to uh, Road Course A at a Homestead Miami Speedway where really the only bit of oval we use is that front stretch. Uh, well, I, I guess we do use um, a little bit of turn one and two, so I guess it is more like uh, Road Course B at Homestead where we use half the oval corner and then the front stretch. So. Uh, I don't know. It's it's uh it's kind of fun. It's not like the uh, the Texas Roval where we did like all of the oval and then like the infield. Uh, that one uh, that was it was a fun one, but that one kind of just that that Roval layout itself was kind of terrible. Um, but this one this is actually kind of nice. It's it's uh, very relaxing. You get that really long um, you know break on the front stretch to uh, turn the exit of two there where you just kind of relaxing and then you make that turn and you're back on another straightaway. Um, it's just a very, uh, just a very relaxing uh, track to turn laps on. Um, so if, if you're looking for something to just kind of relax and turn laps on, my man, this track right here, Auto Club Competition, it's got everything you need. It's got long straightaways, it's got some technical turns. It's just, uh, it's just fun, it's unique. And uh, it's just a very relaxing track. You can just kind of lose yourself in and just turn some laps. Like I said, I, I don't think this track would race really well because a lot of these uh, infield sections are very, uh, very uh, narrow. Um, there's really no room for side-by-side -side racing much on this road course. It's kind of like you have to uh, make a move and hope the other guy moves out of the way. Uh, there just really isn't a lot of passing areas um, on this racetrack, so I, I really don't think it would race really well, but uh, it is definitely a fun track to turn laps on, which, you know, there's tracks that are fun to race on, and some tracks that are just fun to turn laps on, and then there's tracks that are not good for either. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, I think I've only found one track so far that just wasn't fun at all to turn laps on and that was the uh, infield oval at Daytona or it wasn't even oval it was the infield like short road course or it was just like a little boomerang track uh, that was like the worst track and I don't know if it was just because I chose to do it with the Jetta that could be it but that was like the worst track Ooh, a little stutter there that was kind of weird oh we're stuttering we're stuttering what's going on what's going on are we good what's what happened? I think we're okay. That was um, a little bizarre. Uh, that is the first time I've run into any stuttering problems uh, with the new computer, so I hope that's just an isolated thing. 
Uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. But we did not crash the car. We didn't get an off track, so we're good. Uh, but that was definitely uh, very scary. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so uh, in terms of just turning laps, this track is awesome. Like, go turn laps on this track. You'll love it. It's just, it's just a very calm racetrack to turn laps on. So if you got a, if you've got a car, you're trying to get some practice in just, just general driving practice. Come out of Club Speedway competition. Turn some laps. Have some fun. It's a great time. Come check it out. It's kind of fun track. But anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, lap 26. Uh, we're closing in. Uh, probably next time I'll see you guys is when we're getting ready for that pit stop. So uh, we'll see you then. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is lap 32. Um, at the moment, we have 1.7 laps of fuel left, about two laps of fuel. Um, I, we're not going to be able to make it more than just this time around. So uh, this time around, we're coming in for uh, four fresh tires and some fuel. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we haven't had any um, stutters since that first one, thankfully. Knock on wood. That stays that way. I way overdrove that corner, but that's okay. Um, gotta figure out what's going on with that. Uh, I don't really have an explanation for that, but that's the first time I have seen that uh, since I got the new computer. So hopefully that isn't going to be a recurring problem. If not, I hope I can find a way to fix that before it becomes a problem. Um, so we'll just see if it happens again. It does, it does. Uh, hopefully it doesn't result in causing the car to crash, but, you know, I, I really, I don't anticipate the issue coming back, but you never know. Just got to be careful and you got to stay on that grind, my friend. Alright, so not going back onto the oval, we're going to be coming down, and for some reason, the pit road speed limit here is 35 miles an hour. And I don't know why that is, but it is. It's 35 miles an hour on this really long and slow pit road. This sucks. This is like Martinsville speed. But on like a giant three mile road course. <clears throat> and it is not three miles. I think it's like 2.6 or something. I'll have to double check the length. I just, I'm not sure how long it is. I just spent like two hours today, not like two hours, it was like an hour, um, punching in track lengths for all these tracks, and I can't remember what this one was. Alright, there we go, we're going to get four tires and fuel. Just curious what the uh, tire per oh, the percentages weren't even that bad. A lot of wear on the right side, but overall not bad. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a uh, a two-stopper. I'm going to just fill up my water while we're getting some pit service. i got to finish putting the fuel. Whoa, overfilled that. I was not paying attention. That's not good. Hold on, I need a minute. There's <laughs> no water on my desk. <laughs> oh god. I am terribly clumsy. Yeah, napkin here. Alright, well. <sighs> oh, that's out of the way. Uh, how about we uh, do some more laps? Let's go, boys. Alright, 32 laps in the books. We're on lap 33. So we'll probably be coming in on lap 64. Uh, once that comes in, uh, that'll be a, a sprint to the end at that point. Um, but yeah, an hour in. And we are just cruising at this point. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you are enjoying the challenge and the world tour. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we'll see you guys um, in a moment.
Thank you for watching. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. It is lap 43. We've officially gotten to the halfway point of this challenge, and it only took us an hour and 13 minutes to get here. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely looking at about two and a half hours total uh, for the completion of this, uh, which is kind of about what I thought. So that is a very long time to be on track, but a very fun time on track too. Uh, I am not uh, feeling uh, remotely tired yet. Uh, I'm just very uh, relaxed and just having a good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it is uh, starting to become hit that point of uh, monotony though, but I'm just trying to keep myself interested and going. Um, Yeah, so uh, having a lot of fun still. Uh, we're halfway. And uh, we're kicking ass here at Auto Club Competition. Halfway and we still have no off tracks, um, no spins, no wall contacts, or anything like that. We are still just uh, kicking some butt. So yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, the track is still uh, very relaxing. Um, it's kind of just fun to turn these laps still. Um, the track hasn't really changed a whole lot. Um, obviously with just one car it's not putting that much heat onto the track, but um, yeah, I mean the track has stayed pretty consistent. The handling has stayed uh, pretty consistent. Even on older tires and newer tires, the handling has just kind of been the same throughout, so it's kind of fun just being able to know what the car is going to do every lap without any uh, uh, super drastic changes. And yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's a fun track. Just, I like the, uh, the long straights and the quick turns and it's just kind of relaxing and fun. Uh, I could do it a little bit shorter straightaways, maybe get this done just a little bit faster, but you know what, we're still uh, getting this done as fast as we can. You know, I'm trying to put, you know, as good a laps as I can down. Uh, my laps are pretty consistently in that uh, 35 to 36 bracket. Um, they vary just a little bit here and there, so, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that my times are consistent. I'm not running, like, 34s and 38s and 39s. Like, my times have been pretty consistent in that 35 to 36 range, which is, uh, really awesome. Like, there's a 35.7, and I felt like that was kind of slow, but, you know, we're just, we're clicking these laps off, you know, as fast as we can. We're doing this 87 laps. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to do every track, but we're going to do every track. So, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, I'll probably catch up with you guys at the pit stop. Uh, there's really not much more to say about this at this point. Um, but yeah, I'll be here. I'm live on Twitch. Every time I do one of these challenges, live on Twitch. You can follow along or watch the uh, edited versions, shortened versions, if you will, on YouTube. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys at the pit stop. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we are on lap 65 now. Uh, so we have 22 laps to go, 22 or 23. Um, 23. Um, so uh, we just got the two laps of fuel warning. So we will be coming in this time by to do our second and final pit stop of this challenge. Fill it up with fuel, get some tires and be on our way for the final uh, stretch of this challenge. We've got um, just a couple laps to go. Um, I mean, not a couple laps, like 20 laps. A little, a little over 20 laps. So, yeah, it'll be uh, 22 laps. Um, once we're on pit road. So yeah, 22 laps to go, 23. 
And I can't math right now. I'm just kind of autopiloting these laps right now. Um, it's kind of reached that. It's not. It's like um, that point where I'm just like just focused and driving, um, not really processing exactly what I'm doing. But uh, it's almost robotic. It's kind of funny. Um, but the lap times have stayed pretty consistent um, so far. So we're gonna come in to uh, 35 miles an hour. Pit road. Woo! So what I had earlier. <laughs> um, I hate this pit road. 35 miles an hour. It's too slow for a track this big. Yeah, we're an hour and 50 minutes into this thing. So, yeah, we're, we're looking at about 2 hours and 20 minutes uh, to finish this thing up. So, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Oh, we're too far back. Right, a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, now I'm going to fill up my water cup again. And hopefully not spill it all over my desk this time. That would be a good idea. Because you've got to have water cup. Can't not have water cup. And I got... Got some G Fuel, get that gamer energy. A little caffeine boost, keep us focused on the task at hand. And water, because who doesn't love water? Water is the fuel, the fuel of everything. Water is life, water is love, water is sustenance, water is energy. Water is dirt. Water is fire. Water is air. Water is essential. So, uh, enough about water. Uh, here we go. It is lap 66. Let me turn this pit limiter off. Lap 66, so we got 22 laps to go. Here at Auto Club Speedway Competition. So 75% of the challenge has been completed with 25% to go. So we are in the final home stretch. And we're having a blast. Just about done. And yeah, it won't be uh, too much longer now. Maybe another 20, maybe 30 minutes and we'll be all set. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll tune in with you guys as we get closer to the end. Um, like I said, you can follow me live on Twitch if you want twitch.tv slash xa7 and thank you for watching everybody we'll see you very soon as we come to the checkered flag of this really long endurance challenge thank you for watching hello everybody welcome back we're on lap 84 we have just four laps to go at Auto Club Speedway competition and I'm still having fun I'm not gonna lie I'm still having fun just turning laps on this track um, it is at the point though where I'm like okay just a few more to go and then we're done now we can move on to something else but I'm still like even though like I'm at this point where I'm just like all right almost done almost done you're almost there I'm still just like all right, we're just cruising. We're turning laps. And uh, my last lap was almost just as fast as my fastest. So, you know, we're still putting good, consistent, uh, clean laps together and just having a blast. It's it's fun. I love these challenges. They're so much fun. Uh, I really want to be able to do more of these. Uh, I really want to, like, get these done. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast right now. This is amazing. I love this little like interchange and then you know this section you downshift you turn and then you just hammer it uh, lift a little bit for stability and then you're going it's just it's so much fun I love this track uh, and not only that but you got the the long straightaways so you got some time to kind of just chill out relax so it's not like focus 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 the whole time you got time to think you got time to relax 
and it just it makes the the laps and the challenge a lot easier because you have those moments where it's like all right we can take a breather here you know take a sip of some water or you know whatever you need uh, to stay hydrated to stay focused and keep going and then of course you got the the two pit stops because it's a little bit of a longer challenge so those were uh, good breaks as well so But uh, lap 85 now, so just three more laps to go. You know, I've kind of been, you know, another reason these have been kind of put off is because I've been kind of dreading this one because I knew it was just going to take a while. And, you know, with everything going on with the the league racing and everything I just didn't really have the time or the energy to put forth to prepare for something like this because any free time I was doing I was practicing um, so now that you know the schedule's clear we're kind of in between holidays right now you know I've, I've got some time to you know sit down and find a schedule that works for me that you know lets me you know run these challenges and get them completed and obviously I still got to edit this monster but you know we'll get there we'll get there for sure um but the the main thing we need to do is get these recorded and streamed and just do them you know i can i can handle the editing and stuff you know whenever but just getting them done you know i gotta find the time to do that you know the editing i can come in and out of and work on it over the course of the weekend but you know, I, I need the, the two hour, two and a half hour block of time for some of these road course challenges to actually sit down and do them. And I think I'm getting pretty close to uh, getting something figured out so we can uh, get those uh, taken care of. So. Who knows? Maybe I'll do another one tomorrow. You never know. The only way to know is if you follow the X87 Twitch channel, you get instantly notified when I go live. Hit that follow button really really handy uh, the nice thing is at the end of this challenge it won't be the last time I'm going through this really fun set of corners because the other two layouts have the same set of corners in it as well which is kind of fun so I really like those corners so it's I'm pretty excited I'll be able to tackle those corners again some more in the next couple of challenges um, but anyway, white flag, lap 87, let's go get this done, everybody. So uh, once we're done with competition, we are moving on to the moto layout with the HPD. And after that, we are doing the interior only course with the Kia Optima. That should be really fun. I used to drive a lot of the Kia back in the day, so I'm really excited to uh, step inside the Kia one more time and turn some laps. Um, once we are done with Auto Club Speedway, we are heading to Irwindale Speedway for a collection of short track races. There's a bunch of short track layouts, and one of them is a figure eight. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that one plays out. Um, after Irwindale Speedway, we are heading north to, I believe, Laguna Seca? It's either Laguna Seca or Sonoma. But then we're, we're doing like a whole bunch of road course racing. It's going to be awesome. And then, uh, then we're done, basically done with California at that point. Uh, once we're done with California, we're moving our way um, back to the east. We're hitting up Las Vegas and Kansas and some Midwest stuff. And it's going to be a great time, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, once I finish Auto Club, being able to uh, do all those Irwindale challenges, though, because those are going to get knocked out so fast. It's going to be crazy. Like, I could probably do all of those in the time it took to do just this one, which is awesome. But uh, coming out of the final turn, back across the the, uh, the front stretch to the start-finish line, 87 laps have been completed at Auto Club Motor Speedway uh, competition. So thank you guys for watching. This is the second of four layouts at Auto Club Speedway. And the next one will be coming up very soon. So thank you for watching. Be sure to follow on Twitch, subscribe to YouTube, and all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it very, very much.
have a great evening.